Well, I got an external webcam for the laptop, so I figured I'd bring everybody out to the farm to show you what kind of service you can expect from Erie Homeowners Insurance. The fire was at November 6th, 2015, and here we are, uh, May 2nd, 2016. What a fine job they have helped clean up the mess. Now, since that mess, I've had two break-ins and two thefts of my remaining stuff. The latest one, a few days ago, you can see the numbnut thieves, they could have just went in the door and, and ripped the uh, lock off. Instead, they kicked out the whole window. They knocked out the whole window and ripped it out. Stole a gun safe. Luckily, the gun safe was empty. Stole a cooler, a generator, and you can see the spot over there where my trailer used to uh, trailer used to be. So, you know what? what what's Erie going to do now? Send me through to another EUO? For all y'all don't know, that's examination under oath, or it's a deposition to ask you if this really happened. You know, did you really have that stuff? Did that was that really there? You know what? I mean, uh, I know there's some of the stuff that they can, they gave me a, a hard time about that you could plainly see in the remains over here. So I'm going to take the laptop over here and we're going to look. Hey, let's take a better look here at the damage here to the uh, thing. So I'm getting at what kind of thieves go through all the trouble to do that when all that's holding the thing the door on is that little these little screws right here they went through all the trouble to kick out the stupid window rip a gun safe out and take a, a cooler and a generator when all they had to do is do that right there that tells me they're not too bright <laughs> It's a total loss. Now, these walls will probably fall. Hopefully, nobody will be out here. But, you know what? People have already been walking through it. <sighs> oh, here's something I didn't even put on the list. <sighs> Look, a little dinner bell. <sighs> oh, wait a minute. Here's something they gave me a bunch of crap about. Yeah, that's what's left of a saddle. Yeah, that saddle I had. They said, what are you doing with saddle? And, they, and the attorney said uh, something to the effect, you know you're under oath now, don't you? Well, there it is. Oh, over there is what's left of a, uh, a whatchamacallit, uh, pressure washer. And those uh, filing cabinets over there, those were industrial, you know. And they said, oh, those uh, filing cabinets, I don't believe they cost like $700, $600, $700 a piece. Well, go to Granger and price them. Those wasn't the cheap Walmart filing cabinets. Uh, there's what's left of a Honda. That's a Honda 4x4. Honda Foreman. Yeah, they give me grief about that too. You now, two, two toolboxes. I can tell, see, somebody's been in here. They've done already went through that toolbox. I mean, look at the amount of stuff in here. Oh, I don't think I put that fan in there. I'm not sure if I claim that fan. Oh, there's what's left of a, uh, you see that little square box? That's a tankless water heater. Bosch. There's the uh, air compressor. You know, all the electrical stuff over here. Uh, pretty sure... This is where it started at. Now over there, I, I'm not going to walk over there to it, but if you look over in the corner, there's a little white thing. And uh, I don't know if I can get it on camera. Off that mantle there. And uh, I think that's what's left of the Roomba robot. You know, there's some, uh, there's a reclining thing in there. I mean, 
that. They, they, they try to tell me, oh, I don't see how somebody uh, could have this much stuff. You know what? <laughs> they, they came out here with their high resolution cameras and stuff. Took pictures of this right after it happened. Even had the state arson squad come out here and take pictures. You know. And they still haven't paid. No. Still haven't paid. I mean, this is going to cost thousands of dollars just to clean up this mess. This is costing me money. Because I can't sell the place with this mess sitting out here. This mess is sitting out here, and we can't sell it. Hey, there's Cleo. Cleo the horse, she's still out here. I don't know if you can see her. Cleo! Come on, Cleo! Let's go over there and say hello to the horse. And uh, I did have agricultural rider on my, uh, on my policy. They still haven't given me a copy of what the rider had on it. And they still haven't... Uh, you know, rented me any equipment to take care of this farm. She'll take her sweet time. Are you coming? Ah, she's mad at me. <laughs> right, here she comes. She's going to come in horse time, which means I'm going to go slowly. How slowly can we come over here? How slowly can we come? Or she may be nervous. Somebody may have been over here messing with her. You coming? Cleo, come. Good girl. Are you coming? Come on. I'm not going to stand here all day. Say hello to YouTube. <laughs> anyway, there she is. She decided to come up and say hi. You're getting fat, or you're already fat. Look at that. You haven't had nobody out here messing with you in several months. If it wasn't for having a creek out here and uh, all this grass, Erie Insurance would just soon let the horse die. Okay, there's another view, like say six months, and they haven't even helped clean up the mess yet.